Morning. Time to go make a movie. Well, congrats to both of you on the new film. Um, it's one of the most expansive kind of cinema spectacles I've seen in a really long time. Uh, what was it like for you both to, to step into Damien Chazelle's crazy world? I mean, it was a spectacle, exactly the way you feel watching that movie. It was that feeling when you're on set, you're like, this is so insane. The scale of it was, yeah, yeah unbelievable. It's like being part of a Damien Chassel movie out of the Damien Chassel movie, yeah. you know, like <laughs> the same kind of experience. Now, that kind of touches on one of the things I wanted to ask, but what was it like to make a movie about making movies? Wow. So cool. I mean, this moment when you can, like, I mean, you, you answered this question better, but I want to steal your answer, but like, you okay. can finally, like, uh, put, like, the audience feeling the movie magic, like this idea that we are always, like all of us working to, to get like perfection and perfection sometimes needs that magic touch, you know, the unexpected. But when you got it, it's like pff, that, that feeling of like, yeah. And in this movie, you can actually feel it. Like you can actually be there in a movie set working with all of us making another movie, a movie about a movie about a movie. It's, yeah, it was so hilarious watching our film crew and our director directing Spike Jones, who is a director, playing a director, and our film crew filming a film crew yeah. who are actually actors, and they are all filming a film. I mean, it was so crazy. And at that moment, you hear them on set say, cut, we got it, and then they all cheer. And then for us in real life, Damien goes, cut, we got it, and then we all yeah. cheer. And, like the, and then the sun goes down and everyone's like, we lost the light. I mean, it's just the best feeling in the world. There's something so bizarre about watching a film crew film, a film crew film, a film, but uh, being there for it was was amazing. Amazing, it's definitely a surreal experience. It must so be. surreal. Um, now Margot, your character is kind of the original wild child of Hollywood. Yeah. Um, was Nelly Leroy based on a real character for you? Yeah, in a lot of ways she was based on Clara Bow, but she was also based on a lot of other kind of actresses at the time. But Clara Bow was a hugely famous silent film star and she was the first It girl. She kind of was in this movie called It, um, not scary It, <laughs> but that coined the term an It girl, which we now use as a, as a normal term. But um, yeah, she kind of kicked that whole movement off. And then there was like a whole series of movies where it would be about it girls, like these party girls that would come in and dance and, you know, kiss the wrong man and cause some trouble. And like, <laughs> these movies are like, they're so fun to watch. It's like a glass of champagne as a movie. It's, I love it. They're like just effervescent. It's not the first time we've kind of seen you play a character who's maybe unpredictable or a bit chaotic. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did this one differ from kind of previous roles that you've had? She was more exhausting than the, all the other characters I've played who I thought were quite exhausting as well. Like Harley is a pretty like, you know, chaotic character, but Nellie, Nellie just took things to a whole different level that I adored. I like, she's my favorite character ever. Now, uh, one of the things that, that Nellie does in the film is she struggles a little bit to kind of reel in her accent. Is that yeah. something that you related to as an Aussie? Yeah, I told Damien how when I was on Neighbours, they got a dialect coach to come in to soften my Australian accent because it was so strong. And I was like, I can totally relate to this with Nellie. Everyone being like, ah, your voice is awful. I had the exact same thing happen. And I couldn't hear it at the time. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> but yeah. Softer your Australian accent to, to, for an Australian show? Yes, I oh, had. My accent one. was <laughs> so strong. <laughs> you, I mean, you've met my family now, that you can hear how Aussie some of the accents are. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Diego, uh, you're absolutely fantastic in this film. It's, it's amazing to see Manny's arc throughout the, the whole film. Um, what was it about that character that really inspired you to be part of this project? Oof, I think uh, his love for, for movies and all the hustle he, he, he's, he's doing to just be part of this idea of there's something bigger than life, you know? I really relate with that and I don't know, also like the idea of uh, a Mexican successful during the 20s, like when I was doing research I didn't find like a name, you know? So that was like pretty exciting too. Our readers will probably know you best from, of course, Narcos Mexico. Um, do you feel like your time in that role kind of prepared you for the amount of cocaine in Babylon? <laughs> no, because I was producing it, not taking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, this film is, is kind of all about reaching the lofty heights of, of what cinema can, can really be. Um, for you both, is this kind of the pinnacle of where you've been in your career? For me, yes. Yeah. Definitely. I'm just getting started. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've peaked. I don't know how it can get better than this. I really don't. Oh, yes. 
you'll never forget it.